Hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. In this video, I will quickly introduce you with a derived state of in Jetpack Compose and uh, explain uh, everything you need to know so that you can finally understand uh, when and where you should use this uh, side effect in your code without uh, further confusions. So this uh, side effect uh, is used uh, when you want to increase the performance of your composables uh, by updating your UI only when necessary, which uh, directly increases and saves a recomposition count in your uh, application. So here I have prepared the one a simple example for the demonstration purposes. As you can see on our screen we have only one button that when clicked will just increase this count variable by one. And its default value is zero, right? And we also have uh, two logs for now, so whenever we click our button and whenever this um, uh, calculation is actually triggered. So let's uh, run this application, let's observe our log cat. So whenever we uh, run our application for the first time, uh, this uh, read will be printed, which is normal because we have just uh, drawn our actual content, right? Now whenever I press this button, then this uh, click the log will be triggered, but also this uh, same uh, read as well. And as you can see, if I press it once again, and once again, it will be triggered uh, all over again, and once again. Okay, so now it has changed its value uh, to true. But uh, we have actually printed here uh, four different uh, uh, logs that print the same result false. Okay, and that's actually unnecessary. So we should be able to print uh, only when that uh, value actually changes. So instead of printing those uh, four different values, or four different logs, we could just print only one. Okay. Now let me give you here uh, one more example uh, without the derived state of yet. So I'm going to paste here uh, one new variable named uh, calculation. And this um, calculation will use a remember composable to remember this uh, uh, value across uh, multiple recomposition. And also now instead of logging this uh, read uh, like that, I'm going to just comment out that. And I'm going to now log the result of this uh, calculation. So we are using a mutable state of and we are uh, specifying that uh, same uh, calculation within it, right? So let's run this application once again. So we can see uh, now what will happen. So as you can see, we are also printing this uh, calculated and this read uh, for the first time because uh, we are drawing this uh, content, which is normal. Now let's increase that uh, number by one. As you can see, the click was triggered. This uh, calculated uh, a log was not triggered, but this read was actually triggered. And as you can see, when we click that uh, the second time, uh, only the clicked uh, is actually triggered and uh, no uh, calculation or uh, this read value whatsoever. And even if we click this uh, multiple times, uh, we are not going to see here a read that says a true. Uh, we could also, for example, change maybe this account uh, uh, outside of this uh, mutable state of, like for example in this case, without this uh, by keyword, right? Let's also run that uh, to see if we are going to get any uh, better result. So uh, calculated and read uh, are printed. Now let's increase that value. So clicked and the read, only clicked, 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 without uh, changing this value to true. Now uh, there is also another way. For example, let's try and uh, specify here the key, which will allow us to uh, call this and trigger this calculation uh, within this remember when this key changes. So let's, for example, specify count. But uh, with this, uh, we're going to basically get back to uh, the beginning, right? So whenever we uh, press this increment, then this uh, read will print its uh, false uh, value, even though that value hasn't been actually changed. As you can see, it's actually not uh, the most performant uh, option as well. But however, we are printing that uh, true value successfully. And now you have seen that uh, neither one of those um, options are going to print uh, this uh, read in a performant way. So now I'm going to replace uh, all those examples with a derived state of. So now let's just replace this calculation with a new calculation where uh, we are here using a remember and within the remember we are calling this uh, derived state of side effect. And within this derived state of, we are just using that uh, same calculation, which will return either false or true. So now let's run this application once again. Okay, so the first time we are printing this uh, calculated and uh, read false, which is normal because we are first uh, drawing our uh, content for the first time. Now let's press this button for the first time. As you can see, this uh, clicked uh, was uh, actually triggered and this uh, calculated as well. So even though we have uh, printed this uh, calculated, uh, we haven't printed this read, okay? Because this uh, false value hasn't been actually changed to true. So let's press this uh, second time, the third time, so everything the same. 
and let's press this uh, the fourth time. So only the fourth time we were able to print this uh, read with that value changed to true. Okay, and now if we press that a uh, couple of more times, then nothing will happen because that uh, true value uh, hasn't been actually changed uh, back to false. And uh, with that example, you can see that uh, by using the derived state of, we are deriving the state of uh, already existing state without causing the recomposition on uh, each and every click because instead we are uh, saving uh, a recomposition count and we are updating uh, our UI only when that uh, value actually changes, okay? And there we go. So this was just a simple example uh, to demonstrate how this uh, derived state of uh, actually works. So uh, be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think about this derived state of and uh, whether you're using that often or not. And also be sure to like this video but only if you find it helpful. For this video, that will be all.